my name is Lexi Boyens and today I'm going to talk to you about the polka dot plant. Its scientific name is Hypoestes phyllostachia. Um, its flowers are under uh, leaf-like bracts and the name is actually in reference to the fact that those flowers are placed under there. Hypoestes means under house and phyllostachia means life, leaf spike. Um, so they are actually, its name is actually in reference to its um, flowers instead of its very unique leaves. Uh, this plant will grow to be two to three feet tall and about two feet wide. Um, its leaves are opposite. Um, they're pretty thin and they will grow to be about one and a half to two and a half inches long. Um, generally they are dark green with pink, white, or lavender spots. Um, the more sunlight they get, the deeper the colors will be. Obviously, you can see from this plant, um, the leaves are not a very deep green and the colors aren't very pronounced and that's because there aren't any windows in my apartment. So it hasn't been getting that sunlight that really leads to the rich colors. Um, like I said, its flowers are um, lavender color. They're born on terminal and axillary spikes. Usually people just pinch these off because they don't grow them for the flowers, they grow them for the foliage. Um, to get your own plant, you can use seeds or tip cutting, but um, generally that takes a long time. Uh, to grow them, you'll need full light and well-drained soil, and um, there aren't any serious disease or insect problems to worry about, so that's handy. Uh, although people pinch off the flowers, they also usually pinch off stems longer than 15 inches, and this is because um, it emphasizes like a compact, bushy plant which will um, emphasize the foliage wherever you decide to put it. Uh, other common names for the polka dot plant are the measles plant, the flamingo plant, or freckle face. So those are some other fun names. Um, this plant actually has a lot of interesting things with its name. Um, it actually is referred to commonly um, as sanguinolenta for its species. This is a misnomer, and that's a completely different species, um, and that means blood freckled, but um, because they both have hypoestes, people commonly miscall the polka dot plant that. Um, uh, it also used to belong to a completely different genus, um, and when it belonged to that genus, it was called Aranthemum sanguinolentum. Uh, which means attractive, beautiful flower, and obviously that was a misnomer and an incorrect genus because they aren't grown for their flowers, which aren't attractive or beautiful to most people. Um, uh, this plant is native to Madagascar, and um, its biggest drawback would probably be that it has a very short lifespan. So um, although its foliage is... Uh, a huge, huge plus, and it's very fun to put in among like ferns or other things like that just to give it a pop of color. Um, if you use these plants every year, they'll generally die after they flower. So you will have to new buy new plants every year, a couple years. Um, but that is the polka dot plant.